1. Vortex. Drag and drop the effect. Some pixels will be warped as a result. You can modify some settings here. Let's adjust the position. And you can create things like this. 2. Camera shake. Make a cut into your clip. Drag and drop the Fusion Transitions Camera Shake effect. And now we have this cool result. That's a cool free cell trick as well. 3. Cloning someone. Record someone two times within a fixed frame, each time in a different position. Put the clips on top of each other. Go to color grading. Add a new serial node. Add an alpha output. Connect a node to this alpha output. Then mask out the person in the upper clip. Like this, the cutout part is on top of the first clip. Now, this person has a self as a friend. In case you've never dreamed of having a twin, this is the result. 4. Text animations. You have normal text, but Text Plus is designed to create animations. Let's type some text. There are a lot of options on this one. If you scale up the size, it's limited. So let's give it some depth instead. If you use the center Z slider, you position the text further away from you or closer by you. Let's animate it so it goes from you towards the video. Just add some keyframes. Let's give it some shadow as well. Enable the third shading element. And this is one of the animations that you can make with Text Plus. 5. Circles Transition Just drag and drop the effect between two different clips. And this is the result. 6. Zoom Blur Drag and drop the effect. And keyframe it from the standard zoom amount towards zero. Here we go! This is the result. 7. Zoom Blur Transition Let's continue from 6, but with another clip before it. Add the Zoom Blur on a new clip as well. And what we're gonna do now is make the effect come in at the end of the first clip. Just add some keyframes. This is what it looks like. Let's make the effect bigger by using a higher zoom amount at the end of the first clip. Let's see. Let's use a higher zoom amount at the start of the second clip as well. This is the cool transition that we created. 8. Colored lights. The colored lights that you see here weren't in the room while recording. Add an adjustment clip. Trim it. Duplicate it. Once again. On each adjustment clip, we will add a colored light. Go to the color grading. Toggle on your timeline. And in the color warper, you can change the color of each adjustment layer. Let's make the second green. And the third purple. Now we have this. The transitions are very harsh. Let's add some fades. Now the colored lights are flowing into each other. This is the result. It looks amazingly realistic. 9. Stretching. Drag and drop the effect. And now the arm looks long. Let's move the stretched part towards the poster. It's insane how good this works. Maybe it's even better in the head. Let's make the effect even bigger by stretching it vertical as well. You can create things like this with the effect. A similar effect is 10. Dent. Drag and drop the effect. And a kind of circle appears. There are different types. Let's choose Design. You can move the sliders to make a person bigger for example. Or fatter. Maybe in the head. You can create really cartoonistic figures with this effect. This looks great. As long as you don't see it in real life. 11. Invert Color Duplicate your clip by using Alt and Drag. Drag and drop the effect on the highest layer. And you can choose different composite modes now. Let's see what the difference does. Now he looks like a bronze running statue. But because statues don't run, let's see what color does. You can turn off the RGB colors here as well. In the color grading, you can modify the invert color effect. 
Let's drag the color warper to purple to purple up the trees. Purple has always been my favorite color. Let your favorite color know in the comments. In the U versus U, you can change the color in a specific color range. Let's change the shorts color. Eventually, you can design crazy things like this. 12. The dreamy effect. It looks like the train is there, but not really. Record a static environment on a tripod. The trees are moving slightly, but no one will notice this. Then record a moving object in the same frame as well. Give the dynamic clip some opacity and drag it on top of the static environment. This way you can create things like this. And you can create ghosts with it as well. But the environment is moving, so I will explain you what to do in this case in the bonus effect 13 ghosts. Record the environment, and then record the environment in the same frame with a person in it. Drag the person on top of the environment. Turn the environment layer off. Go to color grading. Add a serial node. Add the alpha output. Connect the node to the alpha output. Go to mask. Click on the pen tool. Give it some softness. Let's take 5. Here 5 as well. And go to the first frame. Start masking out the person. Let's do it close to the edges. The less keyframes you use, the better. But make sure to stay close to the edges. Now we have this. It looks greatly masked out. But the person is moving. So on every frame the mask needs to be perfect. Go to Tracker. Frame. And move the mask from its position and back to create the first mask keyframe. Now we are animating the mask. Let's move it on other frames as well. The mask is linear animated, so not all frames need to be keyframed. Here the person is coming up. Make sure that the person is on each frame completely inside the mask. From here he is standing still. We are ready animating the mask. Give it some opacity now. Now we have this. Turn on the environment layer, and we're ready. Here is the result. This was it. Bye.